for facing a future Hall of Famer in Justin Verlander today. You worked a seven pitch at bat there in that first inning. How were you able to stay in it until you found a pitch you could drive? Yeah, yeah, you know, um, I faced him once before, so I had a decent idea of what his pitches did. And today, uh, same thing, first at bat, you know, I always say it, trying to be humble, just trying to see pitches. And, you know, he ended up making a mistake out over. And, you know, we it was a big swing to get the boys, you know, going, get the runs, get the lead back and, you know, let heel kind of sit up there and, and do what he does. How important was it to strike early against a pitcher like that? Yeah, it was. it's big, you know, especially when Tucker comes up there in the first, you know, gets it going and, uh, you know, we know we know we got a really good pitcher out there for them, so it's a big answer and it's something that I think just helps the guys kind of, you know, relax a little bit and, um, you know, just stick with their plans and just kind of keep keep going. John Carlos Stan crushed one in the fifth. Have you ever seen a ball get out that fast? No, I mean, the way he hits the ball amazes me. It's, uh, he's a big dude and I mean, that ball has no business going out and I mean, when you hit it 119, you, you see some stuff you don't see very often. You got some nice defensive plays too in that sixth inning. Just how difficult was the play on that Pena ball? It's just one of those ones that, you know, you got to have a, a good first step and, um, you know, instead, I, instead of freezing or, or being in the middle, I just, I read it good. I saw he was off balance, got it off the end of the bat and, you know, just try to close the distance as, uh, as quick as I could and, you know, we're able to lay out and, and get my boy heel out of that inning. Alex, appreciate the time. All right, thank you guys. Send it back to you.